Uh, hi, uh, good afternoon. Today we have uh, Mr. Jitendra Jadhwani from uh, Tata Motors Finance with us, describing his experience uh, with us. So, hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, hi, good afternoon, sir. So, how was your experience uh, in the two-day summit? See, the experience was very insightful. I, I think uh, information security is often uh, to be demystified and the way you all have gone about picking up your panel discussions, your speaker session and also your advertisers. Uh, I think it's truly an enriching experience and lots of new things which are not known to me also have evolved when I have attended other sessions. So uh, extremely useful experience and I really compliment Cinex on organizing this. Thank you, sir. So, uh, what was the key takeaway from your session? See, one of the three key takeaways from the session which I have uh, attended is, is one of them was definitely something eye-opening for me that when you have got SIEM uh, SOC operator, he's actually the person who is the lowest in the chain and he actually should be fully aware about your business risk because he's the one who's demystifying all the alerts. So, that was very important uh, learning which I got from this session. The other one was that the risk which is there in the cloud security is much more than what happens when you have your on-prem because many things which are there in the fine print of the agreement may not be exactly what it seems to be on the, uh, on the actual cloud. And the third one uh, was that when you look at the uh, board participation, it is important that the board be proactively informed of what's happening on the security and you should continuously engage with them and making them educated rather than waiting for them to ask the question. Yeah. And uh, what is your view on the future roadmap for the BFSI industry's uh, implementation of latest technologies? BFSI industry is rapidly evolving. And uh, I see three things which are taking the, taking the BFSI industry to the next level is that the cloud adoption is going to be much more because go to market with the cloud is far more superior, the cost of falling and the technological superiority of the cloud are much better and more manageable than on-prem. The second is digitization is going to take the world by storm. I mean, today I'm told that even yesterday there has now a Google Pay is going to provide the history of the GPay transactions of the person. So with this kind of uh, evolving digitization happening in the nation, there'll be more and more information about the customer which would make the finance companies under a lot of pressure for ease of financing and quick decision making. And most importantly for the PSI, all consumers will now have nothing to hide. Because all in all transactions are becoming uh, government, are being visible to government, are becoming visible to a footprint. So there has to be a complete uh, data privacy to be exercised caution by the consumer when he's doing a footprint on a digital. Because every information is going to be seen by the government and you don't know who will hack it where. So they have to be more responsible while using a digital media. And uh, what are the challenges and the opportunities that you foresee for the BFSI industry in the near future? The challenge is the customer expectation and information security. Because customer is going to be demanding things that he wants to buy uh, from a Tata Motors car showroom. He will say, why can't I buy this like a home I am buying something from Amazon. Mm -hmm. So the customer expectations are evolving at so rapid rate digitization that they will be very important to be kept braced with it and to provide all in all convenience to him. And I think the other one is, as I mentioned earlier, the information security about the customer transaction, about the customer footprint is going to be very essential because there will be otherwise a catastrophe if this information gets breached of the customer. Definitely, sir. And the, my last question to you is, uh, how do you see the India's journey in the BFSI industry uh, for the near future? India is, India is moving very fastest. I mean, today the transaction of the Indian penetration of the digitalization is much more than even what I've read about US and UK and Germany as well. So I think India is a forefront of digitalization. India is a forefront of technology innovation. And I, I think as an Indian, we are responsible to ensure that this, this uh, supremacy of the country in the, in the technology roadmap and in security and digitalization continues by, by t keeping pace with what's happening in the industry and keeping ensuring that the world is kept uh, 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 much more abreast about what we are doing. So the world looks up to us as a leader in this technology. Uh, thank you very much for the interview, Mr. Jitendra. Uh, thank yeah. you very much and it was a very nice event organized by Sunex and I really compliment all of you and especially you for taking being such a hospitable, uh, taking care of all of our needs very well here. Thank you very much. Wish you all the very best. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.